ship. On May 3rd, 1937, the dirigible Hindenburg left Germany on a luxury air cruise to the United States. Tomorrow, the Zeppelin will fly over New York City and blow up. She spells out how and where the Zeppelin will be destroyed. She was as long as an ocean liner and as tall as a skyscraper. The ultimate in safety and comfort. A grand hotel set free of the earth and sent soaring into the skies. Rainbows circled her prow. St. Elmo's fire danced through her companionways. Don't be upset. We've been in no danger. Take her down below the fog layer, Hans. She was a fantasy of tomorrow floating through the world of yesterday. Marvelous sensation on an airship. Floating. Timeless. But on May 6th, while preparing to land, the Hindenburg suddenly burst into flames. And the romance of the Zeppelin came to an end. No! No! Why was special security assigned to this flight? From a military standpoint, she's a flying dinosaur. Why was the Gestapo on board? Arrest forth by Douglas Oliver. Brilliant problem. Who was diagramming the framework of the ship? There are no secrets on Zeppelins. What was Operation K? They've picked up my passport. George C. Scott, Anne Bancroft, William Atherton, Roy Thinnes, Gig Young, Burgess Meredith, Charles Durning, Richard A. Dysart. 62 people lived to tell the story. Was it sabotage? What the devil were you doing up there? An accident? You're only got about 15 minutes! An act of God. Less than 10 minutes left. They're all gonna die. There's a bomb. What really happened on the Hindenburg? After two years of production, brought to you at a cost of $15 million, the Hindenburg. Oh, the humanity.